All right. So today to deepen and really connect with those that you love, let's do this thing that's about compliments. Um, And I could say, you know, that's about gratitude and showing love for the other person. But I'm intentionally using this word compliments because I think it really calls attention to what's important in this. Um, We can sort of have this negative idea of compliments uh, and or this like it's just compliments has a lot of connotation. Like maybe you think of it as flattery or brownie points or power struggle and ways to get ahead. Or maybe you think of it as like weak to need compliments or weak to give compliments. Um, There's definitely some stuff around the word compliments. And you know, we don't know how much of that we've got in us. Maybe you do right away because you hear me say it and you're like, ugh, compliments, yuck. Um, maybe your parents gave you tons and that made you feel gross because it was like too much. Or maybe your parents never gave you any and that made you feel gross because you were like, God, I never get any food or nourishment about people loving me and why they love me. Never get any feedback there. So anyway, um, maybe you already know, maybe you don't know. Maybe, um, you know, you don't know how much your kids, if you're playing the game with your kids, like how much that affects them. This may not even be relevant to them. Compliments may not carry any connotation, which is great and beautiful and like wish it were all, um, wish we were all like that basically. But I'm just trying to say that um, sometimes we can have stuckness around being able to say what you love about someone and how grateful you are, especially when it comes to the details. Like, I'm grateful for you or I love you might be easy enough to say, but like really getting into some detailed compliments, that's usually harder. We don't usually go there and make that happen. Um, And, you know, our kids need compliments. Our kids need compliments desperately. Every human being needs compliments. There's nothing weak about that, yet sometimes we think it is weak to need that. Um, Everybody needs it. We need that feedback from another human being saying what it is that's valuable about us. Uh, And sometimes we may not even realize that we don't give enough. Maybe we're giving a lot of feedback to our partner or to our kids about what needs to be adjusted and what needs to be done differently, but we're not doing enough compliments. And maybe when we do the compliments, we're just doing the broad stuff like the I love yous, um, but they're not detailed. And so we're going to play with it. We're going to do a game that is structured so that you're kind of forced to really go the extra mile and follow the rules of the game and get in there for some details with the compliments um, and really share with each other what it is that you love about each other. So I'm just saying I kind of borrowed some of this a little from Layla Martin, so I'm giving her some credit, and I definitely think everybody should go check out what she does. Um, The game goes like this. Um, you first say what you love about their body. And then you say what you love about their emotions or heart. And then you say what you love about their mind. And then you say what you love about their soul. And maybe there's not a lot of difference on some of those. Maybe you think the heart and the soul are the same or whatever. But just try to differentiate it into those things because, you know, their heart may be you love their emotions. You love how sweet and um, kind of tender they get when their feelings are hurt or how sweet and tender they get when they um, care for another person or, you know, that kind of thing. And then their soul might be something like more infinite, you know, not just in the moment, but like more infinite, like there's this fierce tenacity that's like always going to do their best no matter what. And that might have more to do with the soul. So I'm just kind of like saying that, you know, fleshing these things out is great. And even things like, you know, things I love about your physical body, um, You may think these are superficial and like call attention to negative things or too much attention on the physical body, but man, that's the reason why we need to do it Um, because we, it's okay. It's needed to love things about a person's physical body and they need to hear it too. And it doesn't have to be superficial things. It can be though, you know, it could be like, I love your curves or your eyes or, you know, it can be those kind of things. And we don't even have to be afraid to say those things to our kids even, you know, but it could also be, um, 
I love how you stand up straight all the time. It's so beautiful. Every time I catch your profile, it's just like striking, you know, your neck and your chin and, you know, the way that you're just like always holding yourself in this posture that's beautiful. It reminds me of just like the quintessential human frame or something. You know, there's ways to compliment someone's body that don't have to be, um, you know, something that's just feels like pandering to that lowest common denominator of just flattery and, um I don't know, whatever, whatever it is that would bother people about complimenting people's bodies. But you see, you see how it's like, I've already got to get in here and talk about this because people get weird about compliments and um, complimenting others and getting real detailed with it. And that's why we need to do it. We need a game, a structure to like, it's on the line. We're doing it. If you're in, I'm in. We got to do this. We got to complete the game. We got to follow the rules. Um, But really go, go. So Don't just say one thing. Go for like three minutes on each, okay? And just keep talking for the full three minutes. And if you have to pause and think, that's cool. But just, you know, keep going um, for a full three minutes on each. Um, And you have, you know, repeat. Like what I love about your emotions is this. What I love about your heart is this. What I love about your mind is that it's so precise and calculating. It never forgets a thing. Or uh, what I love about your mind is that it knows exactly when to let things go and it doesn't hang on to things for too long or, you know, whatever. Um, And I don't know. What I love about your heart is that you're always so open to listening to new stuff. You're always, you know, really trying. You can really feel what other people are feeling or you you can use specific instances. Like what I love about your heart is that like yesterday when you, you know, touched my hand, I hadn't said anything, but you somehow knew or touched my hand anyway. Or maybe you didn't know anything. You just were reminded to check in with me. And that just like shows me that your heart is just always remembering of others and it's always present and it's on top of things or whatever, you know. So these are the things that you, you, you sit in there and really get into some compliments with each other and reverse, of course. It's like both people take their turns. Both people share what they love about the other. And if this is like something that you think is silly or if this is something that you can't think of anything for or if this is something that, um, you know, feels like drudgery or awful to you, like what do those things tell you? What do those things tell you already? Is it really, you know, you're out of touch with what you love about the other person? Are you holding a lot of resistance to giving compliments? Um, Is this easy? Do you give compliments all the time? Or do you give more general compliments and this really forces you to be specific? Or, you know, what? What are you noticing um, in it, you know? Because this is all just experimentation. We are trying to bring some additional depth and connection to those that we love with those that we love just deepening the connection that we have with the people that we love the most see how you like it play it for a whole week if you want do it every night for a week or just do it once but commit to at least once that's the game